Hey guys, Courtney from CD Exotics here. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are cutting clutch number six of 2021. All right, so I checked this morning and it's only day 54, but I had taken off the uh, press and seal the other day and I went and uh, I peeked in the incubator this morning while I was cleaning some rats and I saw a head. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this clutch. Like I said, this is number six. Mom was a calico female and I paired her to two different males. So I guess we'll see which male it was. I paired her, to, paired her to a blackhead ivory male and also a pastel orange green, probably high intensity orange green, 50% um, hep pied male. So we will see uh, which male is the daddy. All right, so here it is. Clutch number six. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six eggs we are going to cut today. So we'll see. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to ID the calico, especially in the egg. Um, and this will be my first time ever having a calico clutch. I don't really have a preference over which male I think is the father or whether I, which male I want to be the father. Um, so I had three locks with the blackhead ivory early in the season and then the last three locks were with the pastel OD. So I, hard to tell in the egg, but I would say this could potentially be calico. I don't know if you guys can kind of see, there's a little bit of pink and a little bit more white than normal on the sides. Um, no orange stream in this, it's a little too dirty looking. Um, and I can't see its head, so I'm not sure, but I would say this could potentially be a calico, maybe. I don't know if you guys can kind of see a little bit of this kind of lighter, just kind of speckling through here a little bit. It's kind of, it's a little easier to tell in person, but we'll see. That could be a uh, calico. That'd be nice. I really want some uh, female calicos, preferably not just single gene, but you know. And one in here, and it's blowing my paper towel everywhere. Hmm. That's got a, got a neat head stamp on it. So I don't know about the other one, but this could be calico. <laughs> I, I feel like this one is just going to be me c guessing completely wrong on everything. Um, you can kind of see the head stamp a little bit on that one. You can see there's a lot of kind of pinky white. And I'll try to take a picture in here of mom. Um, she's a very high expression calico. So, okay, the baby's moving. She's just sitting awfully still to make sure it was moving. Smushed in there. <clears throat> All right, let's do this next one here that's already pipped. So these were only on day 54. I plan on cutting them on uh, day 56. 
Um, but I've been, this season has kind of been, I'm either going to do them on first pip or day 56, whichever comes first. It's kind of where I'm at right now this season. Um, that looks like a normal. Yeah, that looks like a normal. Could be wrong. It could have some calico in it. I don't know. I'm just kind of really guessing on the calico. I mean, I do see some pink. But, who knows. And I know calico, like, I, you know, I have to wait till they shed a time or two, I think, to really be able to see the calico. I know calico is one of those ones that tends to be a little bit harder to see. These were some small eggs. This was a first time female. Um, you know, six egg clutch is a nice clutch. Um, they're definitely small eggs though. I still can't quite decide who I think the father might be. Um, I haven't seen anything really definitive yet that would tell me what the father is. Um, I mean, this one here, maybe that I would say maybe could be orange dream. So maybe it's the pastel orange dream, but I don't know as I've seen any that are definite pastel. Um, and if it was the ivory, the blackhead ivory male, I, you know, it would be, uh, everything would be yellow belly. This kind of has a little bit of maybe flaming up the side. I don't know. This is, I have a feeling we're going to have to wait <laughs> until this clutch comes out to really know what's going on with it. Um, so my skills at IDing in the egg are definitely not fantastic. Um, it could be a dual sired clutch too. That's always a possibility. It doesn't have to just be one or the other. Oh. Well, that's interesting I think that this is pastel I might have hit the all jean here this might be a pastel orange cream calico I don't know there's very little color in there I don't know if you guys can kind of see that very little color um, kind of a cool looking pattern though Baby's moving. Yep. Okay. That one's kind of cool looking. I was really hoping for um, orange cream calicos is what I was shooting for with this clutch, or with the blackhead. I was shooting for you know blackhead yellow belly calicos. Um, but you can never have too much orange cream. Especially because I'm pretty confident that my male is actually high intensity, or came from my high intensity male. Um, oh. I would say that this, I don't know what that last one was. Maybe I got lucky and I hit two of them. I would say that this is a pastel orange dream calico maybe we'll see it doesn't look like my typical pastel orange dreams though you can kind of see down here what I believe is the tail you can kind of see that pattern is like kind of blown out so I might have gotten lucky and hit two pastel orange dream calicos which would be amazing and we can just hope that they aren't both males because that's been my luck this year Alrighty here. So, I'm thinking this one might just be a calico. 
this one I'm thinking could potentially be all three. I can't quite see its head super well. I think it's all three. That looks like a pretty blushed head. <clears throat> Same with this one. I think it's the pastel orange dream calico. Mm. Either calico or normal. I don't know. Um, I think that one's a normal. And I think this might be uh, orange green calico. I think I hit decent odds on the calico, I think. So, let's see. Um, yeah, pretty excited about this clutch. Can't wait till they come out and shed. And we can kind of see how they look and help ID the calico a little bit better. Alright, I will see you guys next time.